Hello everyone! So, you know how I uploaded that video, like, literally two days ago, like Wednesday, saying that that was going to be my last book haul for the rest of the summer, until the end of the summer? Yeah, well, I'm just... I'm just a liar, okay? When I filmed that video, I completely forgot that I had a library book sale today. Um, so obviously I went, like, okay, book buying bans, watching buying books or whatever are cancelled if a library sale is in the equation. Like, I, you, uh, you can't not go to a library sale and buy way too many books because they're 50 freaking cents. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. But this one was much smaller than previous ones that I've gone to from my library, um, so I didn't do as much damage as normal, but I did find some gems, but this is gonna be a smaller book haul compared to most of mine, um, but I do have a good size amount. So I'm just gonna go right on in and show you guys what I got. So the first book that I bought was a rebuy, and you guys know I do not rebuy books very often, but that is Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. I... where's my copy? I bought this copy before I knew how much I was going to love it. Um, and it's just really beat up, the spine is completely cracked and warped, and this is one of my favorite books now, so I just really wanted a nice, not crappy copy of it, um, so I will be getting rid of this one and putting all my notes and feelings into this one, because it's a lot nicer looking. The next book I got is actually an uncorrected proof copy, which I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to sell, but like library book sales don't follow the rules, and that is The Septembers of Shiraz by Dahlia Sofer, which I have never heard of. I always, every time I go to a library sale, I like to find a couple of books I've never really heard of that sound interesting, and obviously I have been trying to re read much more diversely and from different places in the world, and this takes place after the Iranian Revolution, um, and it follows a man who was a gem dealer, um, and I, I've never even heard of anything, I don't even know if I knew that there was an Iranian Revolution, if I'm completely honest, um, but this sounds pretty good, and again, 50 cents, if I hate it, I can get rid of it with no guilt. The next one is just really pretty, if I'm completely honest, and that is The Moore's Account by Leila Lalami. Wow, her name has a lot of L's in it. But this is a Pulitzer Prize finalist, and this, I, I honestly picked it up because it was gorgeous, but then I actually read the back, and it sounds so interesting. It is about a slave who was on the ship that first encountered America, and obviously shit goes down, and he is one of the four remaining uh, workers on the ship, and it's kind of his account of what happened and how he was treated and what was going on at that time. But again, this is just kind of gorgeous, and it sounds pretty great, and it was a Pulitzer Prize finalist. I feel like that's... that's reason enough to get this book for 50 cents. The next one I am very excited about because, honestly, I've been eyeing this book. Like, every time I go into bookstores, I'm like, that looks really good, but it's YA, haven't been feeling YA, it's a hardcover, not feeling spending $15 on a hardcover that I might hate, so I just haven't bought it, and I walked in and I saw this book and I was like, oh my gosh, and I just immediately grabbed it, and that is The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. This was a book, uh, kind of blew up on booktube when it first came out. Um, but it really hasn't, and I got a bookmark. Um, but since its release, I haven't really seen anyone talk about it. It's like a steampunky kind of witch novel, I believe. So yeah, this is kind of a Shatter Me kind of thing. I'm hoping it's better than Shatter Me, but um, the girl, this girl, obviously, whoever she is, um, she is engaged to the Crown Prince, but she isn't like a princess or anything, she's actually the executioner who, if she touches anyone, they die. Um, again, this is just a gorgeous book, a book I've had my eye on for a long time, and a 50 cents. The next book I got is Gardens of the Moon, which is part of the Tales of Malazan, Book of the Fallen, I uh, no, by Steven Erickson. I have seen this all over, like, fantasy readers kind of blogs and posts and uh, videos and stuff and it sounds very interesting and I saw it there 
for, again, 50 cents. So I was like, you know, I feel like I could try this out. I haven't been reading a ton of high fantasy recently, um, and the I have, like, two books on my shelf that are high fantasy, and I'm waiting for to start The Name of the Wind until the third book is out because we still don't even have a release date for the third book and I am not getting into thousand page books without there being an end to them. Um, so this just seems very interesting. It's a high fantasy novel. You know, the works. And the last book I got is another rebuy actually. I, I can't get into this habit. I'm not going to rebuy books all the time. There's only certain situations where I will. Um, but that is Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. If you guys saw my book on haul, if you guys have heard me ever talk on here, I hate mass market paperbacks with a burning passion. I have almost none left, but Game of Thrones is one series that I have the all of the books in mass market paperback. I have read like 200 pages of the first book because I can't read out of mass market paperbacks, but these are literally like $20 a piece for these massive paperback versions, so I've just never tried. I'm like, if I want to read them, I will read them in the mass market paperback, but this was there for a dollar. Obviously, I bought it because I will actually probably read this if I have this copy. Like, that sounds horrible. Like, I said that with Outlander too. I just rebought it in this version rather than the mass market paperback. But it's true. Mass market paperbacks would make me not read them. Um, so I'm actually really, really excited because now I'm like, oh my god, I might actually read this book for once. Because, yeah, I'm like 200 pages in or so, and I have been for like a year and a half. But, yes, everyone knows what Game of Thrones is, but I don't need, I don't need to... I don't need to tell you. Um, my roommate at college loves Game of Thrones and my friend from college loves Game of Thrones, so I'll be able to talk to them if I read the books, because I ain't watching the show. <laughs> so these are the books that I bought at the library sale. I will definitely put some of them in my pile to bring to college, but other ones I will definitely be getting to very soon. But I am very happy with how little money I spent and how many awesome books I got. Like, library sales are- I live for them. I love them so much. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this little mini uh, library haul. Um, and yeah, tell me if you guys have read any of these books or some books that you've gotten recently from library sales. Anyways, I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!